guys, welcome back to my channel, Solving Hackerang Problem. This time the problem is about, the title of the problem is apple and orange. Okay, so we need to calculate the number of apples and orange that land on a house. And in this case, it is a Sam's house. So basically the idea is, you have your house here. This is your house. Okay, let me draw a house. Please let me. Okay, so this is a house. This is, and then that is between S and T. And then there is an apple tree here. And there is an orange tree here. Okay, this is orange and this is apple. Orange. Okay. And then this apple is in the position of A. And this orange is in the position of B. B. So now we have the basic overview of locations of its item. Yeah. And the, the goal. The goal is to calculate the number of apple that's falling in the area of the of, of Sam's house. The apple can fall in between tree and house or can fall like much before the apple tree itself that also can happen for the orange the orange has the same idea so the orange can fall like in the location of sam's house or here or here so it depends on the coordinates uh, it depends on the distance so imagine if the house is located at based on this example the house is located at 7 and 10 and the tree is located at 4 and the orange is at 12 so this is the coordinate right and there are number of three apples and three orange and this apple falling into a distance of 2 3 minus 4 and the orange falls into minus 2 minus 4 so then the distance that the apple falls from the tree is that the fall at here is 4 plus 2 is 6 and this one is 4 plus 3 is 7 and this one is at 0 right and we know that the house is at 7 so one apple is falling in the area of the house right and this is also happens for the orange so then if we calculate this then this one is 15 this one is 10 and this one is 8 so there are two orange that fall in the area of house of Sam's house so that so then the output will be one apple and two oranges that lands in the inclusive area of Sam's house. So now let's 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 try to to implement it into the code. So, okay, this is static void count apples and orange that is falling on top of Sam's house, and the input is uh, this is the starting point of Sam's house, the end point of Sam's house. Now this is the location of apple apple tree and this is the location of orange tree and what is this this is an array list of apple and a release of orange so this is the array list of distance that are falling from the tree so then so we need a variable and uh, the number of apple on sam's house oh, just say like that and uh, initialization value will be zero and the number of orange on house zero as well so now we need to loop into the array, array of apples and oranges and then check if the coordinate if the total coordinate is actually in the range of the house so four integer 
apple apples uh -oh. do you? can I do this yeah like this if uh, I this if for all you need more and for that s and it's between t because it's inclusive right it's mentioned that it's inclusive then I will say uh, the number of apple on house is increased. So now we are doing the same for the oranges, right? And then just let's copy paste this. And then of course we need to change everything. Orange, orange, orange. Uh. And this coordinate and then this going to be B and this one is orange distance and this one is an orange on the house and then we will do the layout because this the, the, same, the output should be print to integers on two different lines so we will just add this one Good. Okay. Yeah. So it's all working fine. So that's the idea. You you got it right? Yes. I think you got it. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Okay. That's it for today's problem solving of Hackland apple and orange. See you again in my next video. Bye!